89.3 and 88.5 Yes FM. Online at www.yeshome.com. Now on the free Yes FM iTunes app and the Yes FM Android app or the free tune in radio app. Search Yes FM Lima. This is Yes FM, and on the phone we have from the band Fireflight, it's Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Hello, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? We're doing good, doing good. Good. Well, it has been such a long time since we've heard from anything from you guys. What's been going on? Totally. Well, um, what's been going on is that we are in the middle of creating our next album. And we have, um, I think around the middle of last year, we decided that um, we'd like to go independent. And so we parted amicably with our label and then have been working on this album um, on our own as an independent artist now. And so we've basically had a new experience where we're on our own timeline <laughs> where usually you know the label has a big plan and they have a big um you know release date plan and everything and you have to fall inside of that in order to work within their schedule which is fine and that's what they um that's just how they roll and how they have to do things to make it work for them and but it can kind of sometimes make you feel really stressed out when you're touring full-time and you're trying to be creative and sometimes well i think most of the time um, if you're trying to be creative, if you've got a lot of uh, pressure and stress on you, it sort of squelches it. <laughs> so um, this experience has been kind of different for us. And so what we've decided to do is to sort of withdraw from the market a little bit. Um, we haven't been pursuing any tours. We've been taking maybe two or three shows a month tops. And um, we've been using the off time to write. And so we've been writing and writing and writing and working on a brand new project. And we now have amassed a ton of songs. And, um, and we're ready to record them. So we launched a pledge fund drive um, a couple of months ago. And so far, it's going super great. We've been able to start the recording. And um, it will continue to go to have, still have opportunities for fans to get cool, um, <laughs> to get cool packages and everything all the way up into the release date. But we did reach our original goal to be able to start the recording process. That's great. So um, we're really excited about it. Awesome. Awesome. So you, are you glad you went this route then? Or are you thinking, oh, uh, was this a really a good idea? <laughs> well, it's been kind of scary because you're sort of stepping out. I mean, this is the first time in like 10 years that we haven't been under the umbrella of a label. And, um, and it does mean more freedom, but it means a heck of a lot less support and funding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's kind of daunting to do that. But um, we actually have found that we're really excited about it because... Um, it's kind of stirred up a new passion. It kind of jumpstarts you back to when you first started, to where everything is kind of a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. And um, in doing so, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's almost like rebirth a new passion for music inside of us, to where we kind of, um, you sort of can get into like little, I don't want to say a rut, but you kind of get into the routine of things. And once things become routine, they're no longer super creative, I don't think. So it's kind of re-jump started our little starving artist heart. And, um, <laughs> and now we're, um, you know, just really kind of living on the edge and eating the fruit of having to fully depend on God and trusting in Him and just depending on His creativity to move through us. There you go. Yeah, that's a great way to go, relying on Him. And have you seen any, uh, has God done any cool things through this process yet for you? Oh, definitely. I think um, I've had a lot of opportunities to um, to do other things, like on the side, you know. And um, I've been begun working with a, a nonprofit organization that works to help women in Africa by giving them an opportunity to have a fair trade um, organization that will help them sell their like artistic goods here in the United States. Wow. Um, I've been able to meet a, a lot of new uh, cool people through my little side endeavors. I've started working with other artists on their own music and uh, got to work with all sorts of really cool producers so far um, and other artists like Solomon from Family Force 5, things like that, as he's doing his own stuff now. And um, I just have seen God kind of move in a lot of neat ways in my own heart and, and showing me, you know, that he is faithful. Even when things don't look like they're going to add up, you know, he's still going to be there and he's still going to be constant. And if we just follow him um, and just follow the heart that he's given us and the gift that he, if we just believe in ourselves because he made us who he wanted us to be, you know, it really does reveal so much about his faithfulness when you not, when you have to have faith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, well, we're talking with uh, Don from the band Fireflight. Fireflight going to be a part of Big Ticket Festival happening in a few weeks, June 19th through the 21st in Gaylord, Michigan. You can find out more details at BigTicketFestival.com or through our website. Uh, do you recall which day you're going to be playing at Big Ticket Festival? Um, you know, I thought it was the 18th, but if it starts the 19th, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're doing something on the 18th, but I think it's more towards country music. Uh, oh, gotcha. You're having some of the some of the people from uh, Duck Dynasty there, so I don't know. Oh, great! It's possible, I guess, because they yeah. will be there doing something. But yeah, so, um, I think that it's the 18th, or like the Thursday night or something. Sometimes they do like a soft launch on the Thursday night. Yeah, I'm not I, sure. think, I think the 19th is Thursday. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're playing yeah. on the 18th in in Ohio. We have two days off, oh. and then we play. It's so very so that takes us up, I think, to the 21st. Yes, okay. <laughs> the 21st. <laughs> All right. So is the Ohio date a live festival? Um. Yes, I think it is. Okay. Um. And uh. Yeah, I've been so excited about. It's funny. I've been so excited about getting to Michigan because you know our original guitarist who has retired um, because he's growing his family lives in Michigan and we're going to get to see him for a couple of days oh, so cool. I was just like oh we're going we're going to Michigan you know <laughs> and so I thought we were going there first but um it's a mix up so I'm so excited to get to go and meet the new baby <laughs> <laughs> So uh, how how have the band members been uh, we got uh, the same lineup as there was on the uh, previous album Um very similar, except for Justin has retired, and so um, we have another um, guitarist, Robert Williams, who's going to be working on doing the lead stuff for us, um, and he's been touring with us for a little while, and he's just a phenomenal guy, just so great. He's a, I always say he's an incredible guitar player and an even better guy, <laughs> so he's been a blessing, a blessed addition to our group. All right, again, you've been working on a new album and you're using uh, fundraising campaigns to help fund that. And what are you're still looking to uh, raise funds to finish the album. So what are some of the uh, incentives that you're giving fans to pick up on if they uh, give a certain amount? Totally. Well, um, it kind of works as a fantastic pre-order system, number one. All the packages, starting from the very smallest one, which they start at $10 and they go up from there. So there's something for every budget. But um, they start with the new album as a pre-order situation. And then they go up from there to all sorts of different packages with special hoodies, special T-shirts, um, signed posters, signed CDs, digital downloads, and all the way to more... Um, um, more specialized gifts like um, I like to paint and um, sometimes I do this thing where I'll, I will paint a canvas and then I will hand write the lyrics to one of our songs over it so they can um, they can I can't what's the, I can't think of what the, the term is but they can um, they can order a, a hand painted canvas by me and they can they can request which song that they would like written over it and um, or there's different I think wardrobe stuff up there like clothing from some of it might be gone. I know we had like the dress from the Unbreakable music video and all the Unbreakable um, imaging and stuff like that. We had that up. Um, we got shows. You can have us come do a show in your house or um, a venue of your choice and everything and um, lots of different stuff. Wow. Um, drum heads, sign drum heads, sign. Um, there's a couple of, um, Wendy and Glenn have a signature base with the company called Sozo, and they've donated some of those. So you can donate a certain amount, and you're really just buying a cool guitar <laughs> as well. So it's pretty neat. Oh, great. Okay, where can people go to find out more information about uh, that and just uh, what's going on with the band in general? What are some of the ways people can get in touch with you online? Totally. Well, if they want to check out the Pledge Drive, they can go to pledgemusic.com um, slash projects slash fireflight. And, um, or they can just come to fireflightrock.com. They can come to facebook.com slash fireflight. And, um, and they can just find our information. Everything's written in every location. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, w with the new album, is keeping kind of similar, consistent with the sound that you've had? Or is there any uh, something different you're going to be trying out? or a new, total Well, we're, we're going to be trying to um, continue to grow. We tried to grow on the last album, and we want to keep moving in that direction now that we've had more time and, um, and artistic freedom. And so um, we're kind of, what we're trying to do is bridge where we have been with where we want to go and, um, and the ways that we've been growing throughout the years and just to continue to grow with you know, with the with with our fans really as well, and um and we'd like to just continue to always be increasing the scope of our ability to communicate, and I think that's the most important thing to us is to be able to communicate the message of God's love clearly to as many people as possible. 
Awesome. This is Dawn of Fireflight. Uh, Fireflight going to be in concert at Big Ticket Festival uh, happening in the week uh, of Ju June 19th through the 21st in Gaylord, Michigan. Get more details, bigticketfestival.com. Will you be doing some of the new uh, stuff at, uh, at the concerts? Not yet. We just started recording it two weeks ago, so it's still becoming what it's going to be. So still. We won't be doing any new stuff just yet. Okay. Well, lots of good old stuff to play from for sure. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a target date for the album? Um, we're looking for early fall, I believe, is our is our goal. Okay. All right. Well, how, how are you going to be, uh, we want to know how you're going to be getting the music t to radio. Are you guys going to send that out yourselves, or do we have to kind of hunt you down, or um, what, what do we need to do? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to have people helping us out. <laughs> we're going to, that's what we're going to be doing with our new independent push here. What we're doing is. We're going to be doing what we can ourselves and then hiring our own independent contractors to do the work that, um, you know, that the label would mess, would do before us before. Okay, awesome. All right, well, we'll the definitely. Service, you guys. <laughs> good, good. Can't wait. Uh, do you, do you got, totally. can, can you give us an idea maybe when we'll actually get a, f a first song from you guys, or is that kind of hard to predict right now? Um. My, my Glenn, our guitarist, might be able to tell you. He's got a he's got the business head on his shoulders. He knows a lot more than I do. <laughs> but um, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I think we're trying to. Though I will tell you, I think we're trying to nail down and finish all of the recording by the end of July. Okay, so, so at least be then. Um, yeah, there should be some early release of stuff for sure before early fall. All right. Well, we look forward to it. That is for sure. All right. We're, again, awesome. it looks, it looks like you're going to be playing. I'm on the uh, Big Ticket Festival's website. You're going to be playing Saturday, June 21st, according to their website. Awesome. Very okay. good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and, okay. And keep listening for details on how you can win a pair of tickets to all three days of Big Ticket Festival and check out Fireflight and along with all the other great bands that will be there. All right, Don from Fireflight, thanks so much for uh, talking with, uh, with us this morning. We look forward to having you guys back. Well, thank you so much for having me, and we're so excited to be coming to Big Ticket, and we hope to see everybody there. All right, and again, if people want to uh, find out uh, more about the band or keep up with what you guys got going on, where can they go? They can go to facebook.com slash fireflightrock, um, and go to um, fireflightrock.com. All right. Well, we're going to uh, go back, pull out an old one from you guys. Uh, can you tell All us right. what this song means? Uh, we're going to do a Desperate. Tell us about that song. Desperate, yes. Um, I think we've all probably been in that moment in our lives where we've been doing our very best, but it seems like the, the bottom just keeps dropping out from underneath us, and we can't figure out what we're doing wrong or what has to change or, or really why God has allowed these things to happen in our lives. And um, a lot of times we just come to that point of desperation where we just kind of drop all pretense and we're like, God, what's going on? You know, I'm getting angry. You know, I don't understand why things are turning out this way. Um, I need you to come through for me right now because I can't take this anymore. And that's what Desperate is about. All right. Thanks, Don. Thank this you is... so much. Have a great day. You too. Yes, FM.